five meters high. It weighs in at a ground-shaking 85 tons. Go there and chuck it on. See what happens. Really? They won't say it'll either fit or it won't. Bruni's route will take him west to the M5 motorway, then south, before he heads back to the quarry through Glastonbury Town Centre. Mm. Just as the world famous music festival is finishing. But with almost 30 years of trucking experience, Broomy takes everything in his stride. There's only one thing that gets him excited. Cider. Over there. Loads of apple trees. Apples are only good for making sure. The only way into the back road. I think we're going to be doing a bit of tree trimming on the way out. We're here. King's Heavy Haulage. We're up at your back gate. But the digger is nowhere in sight. Okay, cheers. In a matter of minutes. On D Day, canvas matting was rolled out to help vehicles over the soft sand. Get off of this wet beach. It's a lot easier if they've got track light, or else they could get stuck. The Marines use a machine called a hippo to drag the landing craft up the beach. This can operate in almost three meters of water, and its 830 horsepower engine can pull vehicles weighing 50 tons. Away from the beach, Sergeant Major and Sully are busy prepping their trailers. Yeah, I can... Landing craft, uh, 18 meters. So we've got to stretch this out three meters. <laughs> Yeah, Got the airline out, the back of the trailer will stay where it is. I'll get in the tractor unit now and pull the front part of the trailer out. There we go. That's us ready now. The truckers are set, but bad weather and laying the tracking on the beach has delayed four hours until the beach is completely submerged. Here we go, fun and games. Broomy is in Somerset, collecting a colossal 85-ton excavator. With the help of Mark, he has to transport it to another quarry, Devon. With just three hours till the tide comes in, Sully and Sergeant Major are finally driving their trucks down to Insto Beach to load two giant landing craft. Great driver will pick the landing craft up, slew round, we'll position all the trailer, chain it down, and then I'm going to move back up onto the hard standing, and then we'll do the complete process again then with Sully. The wind is blowing at 40 kilometers an hour and the 24-ton landing craft is swinging around dangerously. The braver men than me lifting out of this wind, I just got to go and get me out of that. This is a difficult maneuver that could go quickly wrong in high winds. The crane driver will get it round now, spot it roughly where we want it. As he lowers it down, we'll put the uh, packing in place. The packing will support the uneven keel. So it sits flat on the trailer. Sure. But Sergeant Major will have to align them while 24 tons of boat hangs above his head. Front end's going to come down first. Chain, chain down, mate, from that front bit. Yeah, come down there. Oh, yeah. The landing craft is sitting pretty, but the weather is getting worse. That's a Broomy. But with the motorway in sight, Broomy's noticed something that needs urgent attention. Mark, I'll pull up here, matey. Up here, then. Yeah, where you are there now, mate. His journey has just gone up in smoke. Brake's got a bit hot. The constant braking on the narrow roads has taken its toll on the trailer's brakes. A safe route to the docks in Devonport has been plotted that avoids most of the narrow Devon roads. But it's added almost 80 kilometres to their journey. It 
It's now 1 p.m. The truckers can't afford any more delays. We're running a bit late at the moment because of the weather conditions where we were loading. They was expecting them down there by about um, 3 o'clock, but it's going to be 5 o'clock by the time we get there. The truckers can only drive for 10 hours each day. If they get to Plymouth much later than 5, they'll struggle to get back home to Bristol tonight. We could have done with some of this weather this morning, couldn't we? Oh, that would have been lovely. Nice Just starting to warm up a little bit now. My feet are still soaking wet. My pants are still wet. Living the dream, though, eh? <laughs> The truck is fresh off the assembly line and passed its first hill test with flying colours. Broomy is now just 41 kilometres from his destination, the quarry in Gurney Slade. But the route is just single carriageway, and halfway is the town of Glastonbury. Well, with the pot festival being on, you no way you'd have come down here with it. The entire rig is a colossal 135 tons. It's like trying to drive a blue whale on wheels. This is gonna be a while. They say this is the white bit. <laughs> Acting escort driver Mark has his work cut out clearing a path. I want to get on as far as I can, stop the lorries coming down a day to come out of Glastonbury. They've come out of Glastonbury, I guarantee it. Broomy is averaging just 10 kilometres an hour, and the traffic is mounting up behind him. God dear, mate. Oh, a good hour to go yet, yeah, this. No point stressing over it. It'll get there. Bloody late, but it'll get there. After a torturous two hours for him, and every road user on the A39, Broomy rolls into Glastonbury. <sighs> Oh, look! It's my new house! Glastonbury Tour! He now has to tackle the slow, winding hill around the tour. And then it's the home stretch to Gurney Slade Quarry. Oh, yeah, pigs. I can't get going. It won't start, right? Eh? Oh, yeah, bugger! The brand new truck has ground to a halt on the hill. I'm stuck in the narrow bit, mate. I am totally and utterly stuck in the narrow bit between the houses and it won't pull forward. Stuck there. Oh, well, so heavy. It's going to take two recovery trucks to pull it up the hill. Miles long of over 100 cars. Mark is frantically diverting traffic to ease the gridlock. That way! Quicker that way! Here, mate! Whilst the helpless Broomy waits for a mechanic. It's close by infection, but then it's close by infection. I don't care what it is. I just mean, what does it mean for Jack? Oi, oi! No, we're just sire for law! John from Volvo has arrived to save the day. Years ago, it used to be a big sledgehammer and some gaffer tape. Now it's a laptop. Yeah, you need to be a computer technician just to drive them there, don't you? Despite John's best attempts, the computer says no. The high-tech truck's clutch has seized and it won't budge. Well, you don't live around here, are you good? Broomy has... All right. All right, matey. Um, what's happened? Died. Oh, brilliant. It's stuck. Oh, brilliant. Um, how long are they going to be fixing it? I don't know. I reckon he's going to recover. The only solution is to tow the 